Hey everyone, I'm Ian from Hayes Kitchen and today I'm going to show you how to do my version or a western version of a traditional Japanese soba noodle soup. We're going to finish that off with some beautiful crispy tempura battered veg over the top. So for these sort of dishes you've got three or four things going on. We've got our noodles, so we're using soba noodles which is a buckwheat noodle. We've got our broth, so our sauce element. We're going to use soy sauce, we're going to use some mirin. If you haven't got mirin, you can use white wine with a sugar cube. We've got some salt and we've got some vegetable stock cubes. That's it for that element. We've got our whole plate of happiness which is our veg. We've got mushrooms, we've got sweet potatoes, we've got asparagus, we've got courgette, parsnip, peppers, spinach. Now play about with flavours. You can use things like um, sprouting broccoli for this dish, works perfectly. If you want to put like a protein in there, use a fish or you can use some king prawns. Now over here we've got the tempura batter. So that's three elements. We've got flour, eggs and we're going to put sparkling water in it using the zip tap. This gives us that beautiful sort of like bubbly sort of texture to the batter. So first up I'm going to get a pan up to heat with boiling water straight from the zip tap which gives us instant boiling water. I just love the simplicity of this tap, it means I haven't got to boil a kettle or anything, that just means I can just get on with my cooking. And into that boiling water we're going to just lightly salt that and into that we're going to add 200 grams of our soba noodles and then spin them around the side of the bowl and that's going to go onto a high heat just to simmer off. Now with this type of dish it's important to try and get things, your timings and things right. So you want to get your oil up to heat, your soba noodles on, and you're going to get on with your chopped veg. So we have got here, we've got sweet potato, we've got asparagus, we've got courgette. We're just going to finely slice these up. So we're going to take a section of our pepper, rustic chunks, that can be however you want, again with our yellow pepper. It's going to give us that beautiful sweetness with the tempura. We've got our mushrooms, we're just going to lightly crisscross those over the top. With our asparagus, we're just going to snap them and they'll snap at the most tender point so we can get rid of the woody sections. Sweet potato. Now it's up to you if you want to take the skin off this. I'm just going to take a little bit of it off. I just want them to be in the big chunks. Then we're going to grab ourselves our courgette. You're just going to literally chop them into little sections about one and a half inches long. We're going to take a carrot. We're going to chop these into little mat sticks and I'm going to do exactly the same for the parsnip as well. So for these type of noodles, they only take about two to three minutes to cook. You can see they're pretty much done there now. So we want to cool them down. So we're going to use the zip tap again, but use the chilled water function to bring that right down to temperature. Now that's icy cold, so that's going to be perfect. We're just going to take our noodles, just get them into that cold water. So they're done out of the way, we're going to get on with our broth. Now for this, we're going to use 50 millilitres of our mirin. We've got 50 millilitres of our soy sauce. We've got our two vegetable stock cubes. For the broth you want to be using boiling water, so for this we're going to use the zip function of the boiling water to add 800 millilitres to the stock. And that could just go onto a low heat while we get on with our batter. We're using 300 grams of self-raising flour. Into that we're going to add one egg and then again using the sparkling water function of the zip tap we're going to slowly add sparkling water to this. That's going to give it that lovely bubbliness that you want for the tempura and I'm going to add that slowly until I get up to thickness. So you're looking at around 200 millilitres. Now for the oil, I'm using an 80-20 split between vegetable oil and sesame oil. Now to test the oil is hot enough, you're going to just take a little piece of your veg and just drag that across the top of the oil. If it starts to bubble like that, it's going to be perfect. So broth is done, noodles are done, let's get on with our tempura. Now you're looking for that to be like that sort of thickness. It doesn't have to be too thick, okay? And we're just going to literally pick up our mushrooms Dunk that in and that can go straight into your batter. Now for the big ones, you're going to take a big load of the carrot and the parsnip together. They literally only take a few minutes either side. So some asparagus, some sweet potato, and they can just go onto a cooling rack with a little bit of paper. So I'm going to repeat with the peppers and the spinach and a couple of mushrooms as well. And then we're going to serve this one up. We've got our beautiful noodles over here, which I've just literally let them cool down and then drained them off. You're just going to spin that into your bowl. Now to bring that up to temperature, we're going to put in our broth. We're just going to smooth those beautiful flavours through the soup. And then onto that, we're just going to add little mixtures of our different vegetables. So we've got a little bit of pepper, we've got a little bit of sweet potato, we've got some courgette, and we've got some of our asparagus as well. How good does that look? To finish that off, just with a little tiny bit of garnish, I'm just going to really lightly thread, shed. Some fresh spinach, you can use spring onion here as well. So there we go, there's my version of a beautiful soba noodle soup with lovely sparkling tempura battered vegetables over the top. Hopefully you enjoyed this one and I shall see you soon. Bye bye.